Hi there, this is Penelope. This is a short video on finding the poles of a rational function. Now it's really important that when we have a, a, a fraction that the bottom isn't zero because we can't have, it doesn't matter what's on the top, but we can't have a fraction with the denominator is zero because we can't divide by zero so we can't have a fraction with zero on the bottom so we need to know at some stage if the bottom of our fraction is going to be zero and then we need to prevent that so we talk about finding the poles of a rational function and the poles are simply any values that make the denominator zero sometimes it's obvious and sometimes we have to find it. So in example A, t can't equal negative 7, because otherwise if it did equal negative 7, then you'd have 0 on the bottom. In B, s can't equal negative 3 or positive 3, because both of those values will make the denominator 0. In the third problem, third example, x can't equal negative 1 or negative 2. If we have something like this, then we're going to have to do a little bit of work to find the poles. As it happens, it's actually the same as c, and it factorizes to x plus 1, x plus 2, so that the poles are the same. But sometimes you're just going to have to factorize first to find the poles. So all we're doing is we're just finding values for the variable that make the bottom line 0, values that we cannot have.